don't think twice about applying and entering. If you think you have an idea and you believe in it, even though you might think this is not for me, I never saw myself an entrepreneur, just go for it because I was just in the exact same situation a year ago. Our idea was called D-Cancer, detecting early cancer through artificial intelligence. It was through cutting edge deep machine learning combined with an affordable uh, blood test to detect early cancer and enable curative treatments. I came up with the idea of D-Cancer when I was uh, undergoing my clinical training at the University of Toronto through an MD program. There, I was exposed to liquid biopsy, which is a new technology that can pick up cancer materials shed into the blood. At the same time, being a scientist and clinician in training, I realized that there was a lot more that we can do with liquid biopsy data, it being a new field in terms of the way in which we're analyzing the data. That's where I came up with the idea of using deep machine learning to distill very complex multi-dimensional biological and clinical data into an accurate detection panel for cancer. I think at the competition there was a variety of different ideas at different stages. Some teams have already incorporated, whereas others have, are more in the initial stage. By no means that define whether a team went on to the final round or not. What really defined whether something is a good idea or not was A, is the idea itself? Is it novel? Is it innovative? Second is the impact. What are the problems that it is trying to address in, in society? And what is the scale of impact that it could potentially have? And finally, I think it's the people that you're working with is it, it, very important. So don't worry about uh, the scale of your idea. As long as you have a good idea and you think you have a good interdisciplinary people to work with to push the idea forward, and it is a cause that you strongly believe in, I would say go, go for it. So our team was highly interdisciplinary. I was able to meet uh, the teams through the Oxford University Scientific Society, which is the oldest scientific society at the University of Oxford, founded in 1882. Uh, the, the, the mission of the society is to bring interdisciplinary people from all across science in order to foster interdisciplinary collaboration. And that's where I had the chance to meet a number of our uh, team members. There, I realized that the idea of liquid biopsy and combining deep machine learning requires a multi-dimensional approach. We require someone with a strong clinical background, someone with a strong scientific background, and also someone who's working at the cutting edge of machine learning as well as working uh, on business. And that's why our team's expertise now spans medicine, biology, uh, machine learning theory, as well as business development. Yeah, so being a DPhil, especially doing wet labs, it's very time consuming. That itself is beyond just a full time work schedule. But because it's an idea that we believe in so strong in, and uh, so we decided to use our evenings and also weekends to work on it. We also had a lot of uh, transcontinental calls during the holiday season in order to, uh, uh, to develop our prototype and prove a, prove a concept to further validate the idea. So if it is an idea that you're really passionate about, if it's a cause that you strongly believe in, I think you can make the time as long as you find a group of like-minded people. I think what made our team stand out is threefold. Uh, number one is a mindset, number two is the idea itself, and number three is the people involved in the team. Uh, coming into Oxford, I never thought I'd be an entrepreneur, and uh, my background in clinical medicine, I want to become a physician scientist doing cutting edge research to bring these innovations to patients. But then, Jesus Colleges very rich, diverse mentorship network and innovation entrepreneurship made me realize that innovation entrepreneurship is a necessary step to bring some of these innovations to practice, to patients, to society. And I, so I think having that mindset of going into this competition that you can soak up everything you can and learn as much as possible in order to enrich your own personal experience, enrich your own personal skill set, as well as meeting a group of like-minded young people who, uh, who you will very likely be working with in the long run, uh, potentially through a lifelong relationship, is very important. So the mindset, we never really walked in thinking we'll win, but we did walk in thinking we want to have 
as much exposure to people to learning new skill sets. And uh, I think that was really critical uh, for, for our team. Second is uh, the idea itself. I think the idea itself, you really need to think about what is something in society that is a major issue. What is a global scale uh, problem that we all face as human beings? And what are some of the solutions that you can see? And how does your own skill set and how does your team's own skill set can contribute to solving that problem? And of course, having a multidisciplinary team, especially in this day and age when knowledge is becoming um, uh, so much more specific, uh, it's almost impossible to have a successful team without respecting the diversity and multidisciplinary nature of the skill sets. So having a good team that's um, with diverse skill sets, um, but that are uh, that are um, united through a common goal is very important. So winning all innovate meant that we had a 10,000 uh, pound uh, startup funding. That also meant that we were given the opportunity to present at uh, international forums uh, such as uh, Founders Forums in, in London, where, in which uh, Simon Stevens, the CEO of uh, NHS, was also present. So that gave us a platform to further facilitate our idea and push it forward. It also um, gave us the opportunity to meet a group of very like-minded people. So our team is now uh, expanding and uh, we are now uh, part of uh, Oxford Foundry's uh, accelerator program, Elevate, where our office is based in central Oxford. And now we're on our way to setting up a pilot clinical trial to further develop this, uh, this idea. And we also initiated a collaboration with uh, Princess Margaret Cancer Center based in Toronto to further validate this idea. the year ahead we'll have a very busy year to come as we uh, try to apply for uh, funding to fund our pilot trial. We want to further improve our own platform so that it can incorporate uh, uh, multi-dimensional data that are generalizable in a broad uh, population and uh, drive our product to market and bring this to people.